Huge spoiler warning, if you watch this video, you will essentially know the entire movie of Dragon Ball Super Superhero. There really isn't much that's left to the imagination here, besides one specific thing. Plus, I was extremely right about a lot of these things, so I'm giving myself a nice pat on the back here. That was your warning. Let's start with what I was most right about. Dr. Hito and the Gammas are gonna be good guys by the end of the movie. That's essentially what ends up happening. Dr. Hito is the guy that created the Gammas, and he is trying to become a superhero, but he gets corrupted by the Red Ribbon Army and eventually he is the one that ends up killing Magenta which is the head of the Red Ribbon Army. Not only that, by the end of the movie he ends up working with Bulma which leads us to a very interesting chapter in Dragon Ball where we may be seeing more and more android characters in the future which honestly is one of the most promising outcomes post movie seeing how strong the androids are that humans make when humans themselves aren't very strong. Gamma 2 dies by the way. Gamma 2 dies saving Go Gohan from Cell. Cell obviously is in the movie, it's a different type of Cell, Cell Max is what we've been calling him, but it looks like the Gammas at some point have a change of heart, and the Gamma 2, which is the lead Gamma, the one that Gohan duels with the most, he is the one that dies, and Gamma 1 finishes the movie with all his parts intact, which, if you thought there weren't any stakes in the movie, at least one person dying makes some stakes. This one I did not see coming at all, Android 21 is in the movie. And it seems, at least the way that they're describing it, it's the Android 21 that we know from the video game, and she is Dr. Jiro's wife and Hido's grandmother. So Hido's actually related to Dr. Jiro, and that is probably why he's so intelligent and why he's so smart. But unfortunately, that means that the Android 21, the waifu level that we know of, today she's not going to be in the movie because she's a grandmother at this point so it's going to be an older version of her i'm assuming unless they make her into an android pan learning to fly honestly is a little bit disappointing for me because i figured that at this point in time we would be giving like a female character from earth a female half saiyan from earth the super saiyan transformation not just universe six saiyans so i assume that she becomes super saiyan similar to trunks and goten but she learns how to fly like videl which i see the similarity there that she doesn't know how to do it and videl didn't know how to do it but i still would have wanted her to transform into a Super Saiyan, honestly. Before I get to the major spoiler here of the movie, I do want to go through two spoilers that I really don't care about. That is Carmike. This is the guy that is Magenta's right-hand man, and Pan knocks him out. He ends up surviving the movie, and that to me means that the Red Ribbon Army will survive after this, which I really don't want to see them anymore, so I really don't care whether they survive or not. And in the end, Vegeta finally defeats Goku, which to me probably means that Goku and Vegeta were sparring at the end, and maybe there's a huge fight between them or something along those lines, and Vegeta gets the upper hand at some level, whether they go into Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego, I don't think so, but I really don't care about this because Vegeta has defeated Goku multiple times at this point, so him defeating him, him getting a W one more time, really isn't that big of a shocker to me. This is one of the biggest spoilers here, and to be honest, I, I don't know how to feel about this because it gives me such huge granola arc vibes, but this is what happens. Essentially, Piccolo, he actually wished for Shenron to give him an additional form, or two additional forms. Basically, he gets his potential unlocked by Shenron, but then he gets a brand new form by Shenron, which makes him orange and big, and he actually gets a symbol that hovers on his back, which is something that we've never seen from any character. This is like some fan-made shit right here, which I honestly dig. And I like the orange color of the new transformation because Namekians are so closely related to Dragon Balls or whatever, but at the same time, wishing for new transformations, wishing to become stronger, I have more thoughts on this, and I'll probably make a video about it later at some point, but this is, uh, honestly, this doesn't jive with me. I'd have to see how this plays out. I made a few videos talking about a possible new form for Gohan, and I personally landed on one where he had black hair and green eyes, similar to his mid-transformation scenes back in Dragon Ball Z but he does get a final form and it's the complete opposite of what I was saying. This final form is Gohan Blanco. They took a fan-made thing and made it into reality when nothing works against the Max monster or Cell Max, in a fit of rage, Gohan unlocks a new power. It is called Final Gohan, and he has white hair, which to me, I think that that was the least outlandish thing. But then he has red eyes, which come out of nowhere. Like, no other character in Dragon Ball has red eyes, not one other character, so it almost seemingly comes out of nowhere. But he's got red eyes, white hair, a new transformation. I'm assuming it's Mystic or Ultimate completely completed. Final Gohan. To me, I'm honestly really happy that they made the meme Gohan the best version of Gohan that we've seen in the last, I don't even know, five, seven years. 
they made that for real and now that is his canon new form the fact that gohan got a new form and now can like stack up and level with the rest of them i'm excited for that as well as dr hito now being on the good guy side and possibly maybe figuring out ways to make the earthlings and maybe tn stronger honestly i think we're going to be coming up to a brand new dragon ball renaissance where we have all these other characters being uplifted to that super saiyan blue super saiyan god status that way goku isn't the only relevant character goku and vegeta subscribe for more content Oh, perish. Oh, perish.